Welcome to my channel, Gorgeous Humans. I am so happy you're here because I wanted to talk about some strange doll news today because I've seen all of these, like, you know, news articles on youloveit.com, like, where are the mermaids, mermaids, slumber party dolls? So I guess they came out in the UK, like, on this toy store website, immediately sold out. People have been getting their packages, so we know it's not a fluke, but are we getting more stock? Because honestly, there are a couple here that I want, you know, they're really, really adorable. I mean, look at them. According to a Reddit user, they had emailed and reached out to the, you know, company that was producing these dolls that they were able to order from. And they said that they're anticipating more stock in mid-February-ish, so we'll keep an eye out for that because your girl wants one. These are the images from the show. If you've ever seen it so we have the bow tail like different shapes on all the mermaids the crazy hair really over the top you know themes which is really cute i've always loved mermaids they have a special place in my heart and i just you know the vibe is just very glitzy glam girl boss and who doesn't love that especially in mermaid form and then here's the final picture we're gonna go through all of the little girlies see what they remind me of you know because i love a good slumber party theme so, of course, we're going to start out with my personal favorite. Her name is Monroe. Oh, I'm obsessed with the name, first of all. So classy, so cute. Like, I would probably name her Monroe if she was my doll and she didn't have a name. Like, that is everything. Okay, anyway, she is gorgeous. She has this beautiful bow tail. I need her, and I feel like I'm never going to get her. She will be so elusive, pink and purple, like my favorite colors. I love her. I want to see what her color change actually does, too. It doesn't seem like these come with too many accessories. She comes with that bow purse, which is really cute. I mean, honestly, she does come with accessories. She has the coat. She has the dress. And guys, she has the tail. She has everything. So um, thank you to Viperine, if I'm pronouncing that right, for these pictures. Because Lucky Duck got to receive the beautiful Monroe in person. Look at the metallic tail. It's just a really great rendition of the light purple and you know i'm a fan of the purple and honestly she's giving uh violet willow vibes but she's like everything Vilo violet willow wish wishes she was like no bangs cute hair flowing she's just everything and she's here for the slumber party and i am here for her like i really want her so guys let me know if she ever comes in stock like please please tag me okay next we have casey I believe I'm getting the pronunciation right. And she, like, at first glance, I'm like, eh, whatever. But guys, hear me out. There's some details here that are epic. The color combination, yeah, like, I've seen better days. But tell me what her tail is. Like, what is on the end of the tail? Because it almost looks like a cute little, like, bow peep skirt on the tail fins. Yeah, not exactly sure, but she comes with a cute, like, weekender bag almost. Like, I'm here for it. It's so cute. So when you look at the outfit, I'm like... What even is this? It's cute and kind of looks like a ruffle top when you zoom in. Look at how freaking detailed that is. It's like cute flowers, lace, the perfect coquette aesthetic. And the colors I'm actually vibing with. And it kind of looks like a corset tail fin top. Like, I just love it. It's really cute. I'm actually really in love with this doll as well. So the next lovely aquatic cutie is none other than, I believe, Zuna or Zuma. Either way, it reminds me of the Paw Patrol character. Anyways, she has this crazy, like, lime green eye mask. So, it's like, is she kind of like an alien believer, almost? Like, what is the theme of her? It's, like, pretty zany, almost like Beetlejuice theme. And I'm looking at her, like, how do we feel about the hair? Um, because the ends are just kind of, like, chopped and, like, up there. Like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about her. There's a lot of different things that I would probably change. I'm not crazy about the tail, like, with the shirt. I would definitely change the shirt, the striped, you know, like, Wicked Witch of the West sleeves are just not there. Time to believe. Hmm. So, is she, is she like the X-Files? Because there's, yeah, there's definitely an alien bracelet there. I'm peeping the alien bracelet. Oh, my God. Because I do like the look of her tail with, like, kind of the cute boxers sticking out of the sweatpant look. Like, that's cute. From, like, the waist down, I'm into it. But from the waist up, hmm, let me know what you think. Like, even the earrings. I just don't really love anything <laughs> about it. Like, and then the dual tone hair. Oh, and then she looks different in the box. Like, this looks more hot pink. 
than what I'm seeing there. Maybe it's part of the color change. Either way, little Miss Zuna is just not, she's just not on my favorite list. However, when we get to Miss Bryn, oh my god, Miss Bryn, she is so stunning. Look at this. She has this cute like little suitcase, carrying case for all of her sleepover needs. The puffball earrings, of course. This gorgeous like top that I want to steal for Draculaura. The most stunning textured hair. Like she has the braids going down, like really sleek straight and like a Victoria's Secret two-piece set and then the plastic end like also looks kind of like a plastic embedded almost like Barbie pom-pom or something like that like I am just I really like her she's my number two for sure so when you zoom in on it she has kind of like you know the sleeves that are puffy and then a cute heart-shaped necklace I almost wish that that was a different color than gold I don't know what do you think I mean it's kind of cute right or like maybe a different necklace in general or maybe like some other kind of body jewelry but I mean I can't complain I really love that they even did this line I hope I can snag a couple because slumber party is like why would they think we wouldn't want this do you think that they're actually doing this to like get our goat and make it seem more elusive when really they are just planning to release these dolls all along you know what I mean anyway we have Kinsley, and I think that's so cute. What cute names all of these girls have. Like, really, really, really sweet. So she has the moon tail, a pink. It almost looks like a caboodle there. I wish it was silver or black or white. It just seems like the hot pink isn't, like, vibing with her the rest of her outfit, you would say. I mean, what do you think? In any regards, she's a really pretty shade of blue. She reminds me of Skylar Bradshaw from Rainbow High. I mean, she's really cute. You know, nothing too crazy. She has the clouds on her outfit. Kind of reminded me of Slumber Party Chloe. You know, who could forget her? What an icon. Please bring back the Slumber Party Bratz dolls. Like, can we have a petition somewhere? Because this needs to happen. But anyway, her really cutie, like, long robe thing over her almost denim-looking sports bra. Kind of like a Calvin Klein-inspired thing. And then one earring is a star. The other, meanwhile, is a moon. How cute. Oh, and it has drawstrings on the jacket. That's really sweet. I love that. Oh, and then the tail has charms. Almost looks like one of those cool, like, earring ears that you, like, put on the side of your ear. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's a cool tail. It's a cool tail, everyone. And then here are some more pictures of them outside of the box. Oh, I know what her tail reminds me of. It's very Toy Story wall. You know, like, on Andy's room, the clouds... You see on like little boys nurseries yep that's exactly what i'm thinking that is a toy story tale but look at her hands doing the peace sign that's so cute you don't see too too many dolls with that ever often like and then the glass eyes i just think they're really pretty you know the glass eyes can get creepy really fast but the like mermaids yeah never creepy so that was a look at all of the girlies so what do you think who's your favorite will we ever get them more importantly like, will we ever even see listing on Amazon? I'm hoping so, and I'm hoping this is just a ruse to make them more elusive. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your week.